Betty Bunny Didn't Do It by Michael B. Kaplan. Betty Bunny was a handful. She knew this because one day she was in her brother Bill's room yelling, play with me, play with me, play with me. Man, you're a handful. She knew she was his favorite sister, so being a handful must have been very, very good. But Bill was too busy to play with her, and her brother Henry and sister Kate were also too busy to play with her, so Betty Bunny decided to play all by herself. There was no one to throw the ball, but she threw it anyway and crashed into the lamp on the table. Oops, said Betty Bunny. Her brothers and sisters came running down the stairs. I can't believe you broke that. Here, let me help you pick it up. Mama's going to kill you. Forget the lamp. Hide yourself under the rug. I didn't do it. Then who did? The Tooth Fairy. And Benny Bunny told her brothers and sisters all about how the Tooth Fairy had flown into the room, thrown a big bag of baby teeth at the lamp, sending it crashing to the floor. Benny Bunny, you're a big fat liar. Mommy, 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 Henry called me fat. <laughs> no, I didn't. I called her a big fat liar. Henry told her mother about how Betty Bunny had broken the lamp and blamed it on the tooth fairy. Betty Bunny's mother was very upset. Betty Bunny, did you break that lamp? No. Is that the honest truth? No, it's an honest lie. Betty Bunny, you never lied to me before. I know, it's new. Lying is not okay. Why would you do something like that? The tooth fairy told me to. And Betty Bunny told her mother about how the tooth fairy had flown into the room and said that if she did not lie, she would throw a big bag of baby teeth at her. Betty Bunny's mother had enough of her lying, so she sent her to her room so when her father got home, they would decide on punishments. You gonna punish the tooth fairy? Asked Betty Bunny, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe next time you won't do something bad. Maybe next time you'll tell us the truth. We'll still love you. Maybe next time you'll hide yourself under the rug. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Bunny thought about what Henry had said. He was very smart. So she crawled Halfway under the rug when she heard a loud crash. She jumped up and seen a broken vase laying on the floor. Her mother, Henry, and sister Kate came running to see what had happened. I didn't do it, said Bunny Bunny. Then who did? I don't know, the tooth fairy maybe? I was hiding under the rug. Her brother Bill came in with a broom and dustpan. I broke it, he said with a dustpan and picking a dustpan and broom. He explained to his mother that he went to go pick up Betty Bunny's ball and throw it in the toy box, but he missed and it broke the vase instead. Betty and Bunny's mother was very proud of him, so she gave him a great big hug. Then Betty Bunny realized that doing something bad made her mother proud. I broke the lamp, said Betty Bunny, and Betty Bunny wanted her mom to be extra proud of her. So she told her about the time she stomped on carpet in muddy boots, or the time she drew and crayon on the wall. She ran out of things she's done. So she made some up, like the time she ate 100 chocolate cakes before breakfast, or the time she robbed the bank. Penny Bunny's mother explained to her that she was not proud of Bill because he broke the lamp. But she was proud of him because he told the truth. And that lying is the worst thing of all because when you lie, people stop believing in you. Even when you do tell the truth. Like when I didn't believe you. I didn't believe you either. I didn't believe you and I'm the one that did it. <laughs> when fa Betty Bunny's father came home, she was so proud, she ran up to dad. Daddy, daddy. 
I'm never gonna lie again. She wanted to show her father how well she could tell the truth. So she said, Daddy, you smell bad. Her father then explained to her that he knew he needed a shower because he just came home from the gym and lying is not okay unless it hurts someone's feelings. Then he noticed the broken lamp. He was not happy. What happened here? I would tell you, but then it would hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh!